I guess it's been about 12 years ago I decided to stop chemically relaxing my hair. With that, I actually had no idea what the hair that would grow out of my scalp would look like, so I didn't know how to take care of it. I couldn't even go to the older women in my family to help me learn how to take care of this hair. Ever since the days of Madam C.J. Walker, all we've ever known is straight hair. So I researched online and in stores, and then it kind of became clear to me that the hair accessory industry really had a lot of bias. All the hair accessories out on the market were designed for straight hair or designed to entice you to straighten your hair in order to have success in using them. And I felt like this wasn't fair. I had to find a solution. I knew this problem was bigger than just me. Many other people with textured hair suffering the same pain points as I was when it came to styling textured curly hair. That's when the idea of Puff Cuff was born. All I needed was something to hold my hair, not cinch it down. Based off of a small clip that my grandmother and my mother used to have, it was a clip about this big. It had a hook on the top, but it had teeth that went all the way through it. To me, when you got teeth like this, the only thing that's going through teeth like this is straight hair. So I thought if I could devise something that would be on a larger scale, the teeth would not go all the way through and try to penetrate the hair, but more or less to act like fingers and hold the hair in place. In 2011, I was blessed with the opportunity to take care of my 99-year-old grandmother. And although my grandmother lived to be 99 years old, not at any time did she have an ounce of regret. Every night she was like, if the Lord takes me tonight, I'm fine with it. Matter of fact, some morning she woke up like, I thought she was gonna take me last night, but I'm still here. I wanted to be able to have the same type of contentment and peace that she had, even though she knew that her life was coming to an end. And I had had the thought and idea of Puff Cuff just sitting in the back of my head, on the back shelf, on the back burner. And I knew if I sat and let this just collect dust, that I would not be able to have the same peace that she had. At that very time, I was working at a community college right outside of Chicago. I was the only black in my department let alone the only black in the building. And here I was growing out my hair from its natural state. So of course that meant I was gonna be rocking an afro for a while. So working at that community college, being you know African American woman and we were able to do so much stuff with our hair, literally my hair was the topic of daily conversation. But when I started growing it out natural, I actually did not want the attention or the discussion that could come with growing your hair out in an afro. So I decided that the way that I felt comfortable with my hair being natural was the style that I like was to wear it up in an afro puff. So what I would do is I was what you call a shoestring chick. I used to go to Walmart, buy up a ton of boot length shoestrings, tie it around my neck, pull it up as high as I could and then pull it and cinch it to the point where it would keep my puff in place or at least hope that it would keep my puff in place. But with that, the unfortunate result, I had a raging headache and an hour commute home. Those two things did not mix. Usually by the end of the day, I was what you call, I had the hangry headache. I was hungry and I was angry. Another person who is vital to the lifeline of Puff Cuff is my husband. It's interesting because in the summer of 2017, I got a phone call from him I could tell something was different in his voice. And he tells me that he just lost his job. They call him up and just say, shut your computer down, you no longer have a job. But the Lord knew just because of Garrett's personality, he would not leave that job. So the Lord just kind of scooted and forced him out. We considered Garrett losing his job one of the biggest blessings that we could receive. My husband has been able to secure financing for the business, new vendors, solidify contracts, just expand operations. He has put Puff Cuff on a new trajectory. In 2017, I was able to be granted two patents for the Puff Cuff. We own the design patent and the utility patent. 
So that makes me the first African American woman to hold two patents for a natural hair accessory. The hair accessory industry has given little to no attention to those people with thick or textured hair. Puff Cuff wants to be that solution. So here I am. Puff Cuff LLC was born in the late summer of 2013. After several drawings and prototypes, the first Puff Cuff was retailed on Amazon.com in February of 2014. I was able to put together a fantastic team of professionals, most of them small business owners themselves, most of them minority, and most of them women. These professionals basically helped me where my skill set fell short. Bringing others on board who share my vision and passion was vital and essential to me personally. Due to the success of our marketing efforts and the love that our fans have for the Puff Puff, we were recognized by Sally Beauty in 2018 after I applied for the Cultivate program. The Cultivate program was to give a leg up to female entrepreneurs in the beauty industry that had created their own brands by giving them distribution online on sallybeauty.com as well as a $25,000 grant. I applied for the program, which I had applied for many programs before. I've been turned down by so many pitch competitions, I, I've gotten used to the word no. But like I said, I applied for the Cultivate program received an email with a response, and actually because it was an email, I just knew it was another no. But once I opened it, read it, I was like, wait a second. I don't see thank you for applying, but I actually saw congratulations. You have been nominated for the President's Innovation Award. I looked at my husband like, what is this? Can you believe this? Read this, you've got to read this and tell me if this is what it's actually saying. He read it and he's like, yes, this is what it's actually saying. So the President's Innovation Award from Sally Beauty, it granted fast track distribution into all 3,000 Sally Beauty stores and on sallybeauty.com. On this journey, I've developed the mantra of order the big plate, take small bites, drink plenty of water, so not to get acid reflux and do the best you can. Don't obsess over the big picture because it will overwhelm you. Enjoy the details. Enjoy the journey. Be blessed and be a blessing. Keep the faith. Don't think it's bigger than you because everything is bigger than you. But it's about how you stay in the game. It's about how you don't give up. You keep running when you're tired and you don't stop until the Lord tells you to. And he hasn't told us to.